Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for December 8th to the 14th. Remember guys, this is going to be your day to day and your overall. Also, thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, the Eye of Zen is back up on Amazon.com and the information is in the description box below. That's the deck that we're using right here. I know some of you had asked me last time what deck that was. Okay, so also I have a holiday giveaway going on, guys. So stick with me till the end for all those details. All right, so I don't want to take up too much time here, Pisces. So let's jump right in here. Okay. So it's going to have my Pisces Romantic Love Life for December 8th to the 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so Pisces, remember, we're going to go through your day-to-day, -day, your love interest feelings, the blocks, chilies, and challenges, and then the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so this is going to be December 8th. 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. Okay. And then let's also see what's going on with the feelings here. Also, remember you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these Pisces make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here. All right, so we got the Page of Wands. So it does look like there is some flirty kind of energy going on here. Some things, new things that may be explored here with the Page of Wands energy. I still feel like there's something undercover about it though uh, that may be revealed very soon because obviously we're looking at the overall for this week. Okay, so. Let's now take a look at the first day here, but before we do that, let's take a look at your blockages for this week. Okay, so Eight of Cups, so Eight of Cups. Uh, this could be saying that you don't wanna deal with your emotions this week, okay, with Eight of Cups energy. Possibly maybe you're in a mode of like, maybe it's time for me to walk away from this situation, okay? So that's part of the Block Shalian Challenge. I feel like for me, if I look at that card, I feel like there's a bit of a numb feeling there around that Eight of Cups. However, we're gonna get more information as we go further into the reading. So let's just go to the first card here for the first day. Okay, so the Eight of Pentacles is coming out. Some of you may be really focused on work or some things that you're doing here on the eighth here. Um, also, I feel like for some of you, there could be a work-related situation, okay, for some of you, or something at school here. Or there could be somebody that is watching you from afar here. That's what I feel like from this card. Um, I feel like you're just kind of doing your thing and someone is just observing what you're doing. So that's very interesting. We're gonna clarify further too to see what's going on with that. Let's see what's going on on the ninth. The ninth has the Queen of Swords energy. So the Queen of Swords, something will be revealed to you on the ninth here. Some truth will be revealed here with the Queen of Swords energy because that's what she does. She reveals truth. She cuts through the, the nonsense and speaks it how it is. So let's now see what's going on. Or you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with the Queen of Swords being there. All right. So on the tenth here, we see the Three of Pentacles energy, Pisces. Again, I feel like you guys are kind of like doing your thing, you're working, and then someone's watching you from afar. Can you see that? See what I'm talking about? You're kind of like doing your thing and then doing your thing here. Three of Pentacles represents when somebody is putting the work or effort into a situation, trying to find a creative solution, right? It looks like you're just doing your thing over here and someone's watching you. Someone's watching you here. Okay, so let's get more information here. We see putting the work or effort in, someone's gonna put the work or effort into speaking their truth to you to want to work together to build a foundation. Because Three of Pentacles can also talk about when someone wants to build something with you. They wanna to work together to build something, right? They want something more serious. Um, also, we can see that this could be a work-related environment because Eight of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles is like a, this is like a team environment, a work environment, a school environment, okay, for some of you. And it looks like something's gonna be revealed, some truth's gonna be revealed about this, okay? So let's keep going. What's going on my Pisces Romantic Love Life for December 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. 
Show me the cards I need. Let's see. Okay, let's see what's going on here, Pisces. All right, so we got the tree card here. The tree card can represent when either a situation like you guys are focused on healing on this day or you're giving something time to grow, okay? I do see like you're gonna see some signs here on this day. Like whether or not you're aware of it, there is, seems like there is somebody around you. And we see the rainbow in that card. So for me, the rainbow can speak of looking at the signs or being aware of the signs. Vibes talk about choices excuse me, fives talk about changes and freedom of choice, okay? So, and eights talk about work and effort towards those changes, all right? So, you, it looks like you're putting work or effort into some changes in your romantic love life. And let's see the next card. Sun card, again, for Lenormand can talk about revealing something, okay? Sun card can talk about happiness, but since we see the Queen of Swords there, I feel like this day here, you're going to get some truths revealed to you that could make you very happy with the sun card being there. And then, oh my God, guys, we got the heart card, one of the, one of the besides the sun card, one of the best cards in the deck, I feel like, for love with, uh, well, obviously, with the heart uh, for Lenormand. So we see that there's some things that have been growing here in your situation and something's going to be revealed in love or this is really gonna make you really happy in love here with that heart card and that sun card together. So we know that it's gonna be a happy uh, reveal here. Okay, so let's get more information here, Pisces. I'm just gonna have my Pisces Romantic Love Life for December 8th, 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see let's take a look at this so let's get more information here so it looks like you guys are going to be overcoming some stress or you may still be stressing because you're dealing with work and still like you know building some things here still over some coming some things here so still in the healing mode or for the stress card also i have seen this card when it comes to a happy energy like a sense of worry like oh my god when I'm around this person I feel so nervous you know that's more also I feel like more like with you guys oh my goodness okay so <laughs> the reveal has to do with an ex-partner guys <laughs> or another person okay so mm, okay all right and then let's keep going I'm wanting to make the effort <laughs> I know a lot of you are gonna hit me up in the comments like, no, not the ex. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks like this ex energy is coming up for you guys. And they're gonna reveal this truth, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy and wanting to make an effort to build a foundation. Now I understand why the Three of Pentacles is there because when the Three of Pentacles comes out also it can say that something has already started to be built. So they wanna move now towards the foundation. They wanna work together with you. Okay, now I make sense of why the Eight of Cups is also there with the wanting to walk away from the situation, okay, or not wanting to deal with it. All right, so on the 11th, we see you guys are going to make a choice here with the Two of Wands energy. And we see when it comes to romance here with the Moon card energy on the 11th. And let's get more information on this. But you're kind of like, well, this could be too good to, to be true. You know, are they being honest with me about the situation? Okay, because you're like, I don't know. Are the things that they say they are? I don't know. Okay, so let's keep going here, Pisces. Okay, so it looks like on this day, things are going to run smoothly for you guys, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune card. I feel like there's going to be a sense of now all things are aligning in your favor here with the Wheel of Fortune card. Um, also, there's a sense of luck on this day for you guys with the Wheel of Fortune card, and that is on the 12th. Good day to watch out for. Yes, the Anchor card talks about stability and stableness and putting the work or effort into some sense of completion here. Yep, and then this day also, you guys are going to have some time for yourself to heal and reflect on your situation as well on the 12th. Don't worry, I'm going to bring everything together and give you the overall theme. Remember, we're going to talk about the day-to-day, -day, the love, interest, feelings, the box leading challenge, and then I'm going to bring it all together here on this part. Okay. Wow. Oh, my goodness. You guys have the Two of Cups energy. You have love here on this day of the 13th. So we see love coming together, a relationship here for some of you, a start of relationship, or a new relationship here with the Two of Cups energy. Yep, an opportunity is coming up for you guys, Pisces. And we see what's going on with this. Mm, a sense that there's something higher in this connection, a spiritual connection here, okay? 
Possibly some of you are going to use your intuition here when it comes to this opportunity and this connection. And let's keep going. Oh my God, you guys got the star card energy. So far, Pisces, I would say that you guys have a, having a great week here. And we see it, the person card's coming out. Okay, the person's card's coming out. There is definitely hopeful energy here. And it looks like for some of you, this could fulfill your dreams because the star card does say, when the star card comes out, it says, you know, there's potential here to fulfill your dreams. And it looks like you're going to have to make a decision about this. Okay, so let's break this down, okay? Stressing about an X energy and making the effort. Now, for some of you, maybe you're stressing that there could be another person involved or this person that you're dealing with could be stressing about an X energy or another person involved if this is not how this is gonna play out in your situation because obviously we're talking to a lot of different Pisces. So we see stress about X and making an effort. We don't know if they're telling the truth about the healing. There seems to be a very deep spiritual connection and I wanna make a decision very soon. Okay, so going further. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Um, healing and revealing things about love and romance and this sta stable opportunity towards this person. Now the person card could represent you, could represent the love interest, okay? That's how Lenormand works. And we see, I want to put the worker effort in this Pisces. I want to speak my truth. I want to work together with you. I want to build this foundation. I really want you to make a choice. I'm ready for things to turn in our favor and I love you and I'm hopeful that we can be together. Star card energy. Okay, that's pretty good Pisces. Let's get all this all together now. Let's find out what's going on with your love interest feelings towards you. All right, let's see here. We have the justice card. We have the Ten of Wands card energy, and we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, so let's take a look at this Pisces. So it looks like a decision is going to be made, or this person feels like they need to make a decision. It has been a burden to them that is weighing heavy on them. Um, they do want to communicate with you, or they want things to go fast, okay, with the Eight of Wands energy. We see that the Store card energy is coming out, the Doll card energy is coming out, and the House card energy. This person's ready for improvements in this connection, and they want loyalty here and a long-term commitment here because the house card talks about family, and it looks like they want to talk to you about this. All right, so and they're gonna they they also be may have been revealing or relieving their burdens to a friend here with the doll card energy coming out. This person wants some sense of justice. Now justice can be just truth, just decision, marriage, divorce. I would feel more comfortable saying marriage, divorce if I felt like there was a Hierophant card next to it. However, we do see the dog and the house and family cards, so loyalty towards house and family and improvement, so that's really good. Yep, and then we see this person does want to have a family with you or they wanna heal this family connection with you. And there's the nurturing card for me, that's the Queen of Pentacles energy. That's also another sign this person wants to have a family with you or they wanna heal the connection. If you guys already have a family, they wanna heal that. And they feel like they want things to come into balance and they want this to be done quickly, okay? All right, so Pisces, let's now move into, what's going on with this blockage with this Eight of Cups? What's going on with this? Okay. What's up with this Eight of Cups? All right, so we got the Garden Card energy and we have the Crossroads. Okay, so the Garden Card can represent people, okay? It can represent other options that you may have, other people you may be dating. It could represent friends or family. It can represent the public. It could represent wanting to go out. Okay, so it's saying that you're kind of like, I don't know if I want to deal with this. I want to walk away from this situation uh, when it comes to these people because I'm at a crossroads. I know I have to make a choice, but I'm indecisive about that choice. That's part of the Black Australian Challenge this week. Okay, so let's now see the overall outcome here. So things are going to come full circle for you guys with the World Card Energy. Knight of Pentacles tells me it's going into a really, really serious direction. And Three of Wands tells me, obviously you guys have to make a decision because it's like you're waiting for the right opportunity or the right time, or there's waiting for some right time here, right timing with the Three of Wands energy. We see that World Card talks about, all right, 
um, you know, something is going to be completed in your situation, okay? World card. World card can also talk about, think about, when you think about the world card, think about somebody who has got a college degree or graduated from high school, right? Something was accomplished there, all right? Something was completed, something was accomplished. In your romantic love life, let's say you're dating someone, something is going to be accomplished, it's going to be taken to another level of commitment. Knight of Pentacles, there's gonna be some slow walking on it though, okay? So yes, you're gonna accomplish something, there's gonna be things that are come full circle. Now, if this is the X energy for some of you Pisces, things are gonna come back around, okay? That could also be saying that too, so that things can be completed. And you're kind of slow walking this because you're just like, all right, I need to make sure that this is the right opportunity for me, right? And then we have the star card energy, we have the fox card energy, and the clover card. So some of you definitely, this has to do with an ex, okay? Or somebody that you have dealt with before, okay? So we see that there is a hopeful energy to take this to another level of commitment, but on the same token, you're slow walking things because you're like, I don't know if they're telling me the truth. I don't know if they're being honest with me. And the clover card can say, do I really want to take a risk here? Do I want to take a gamble on this? Maybe I need to make sure that I'm, uh, you know, wait for the right opportunity and see what happens here, okay? With the three of wands energy or wait for uh, a better opportunity for some of you. Because obviously you're going to have to make a decision about this love connection, about this relationship. Star card is saying this person really wants to fulfill their dreams with you, okay? So we see, all right, so we're re reconfirming again. This is definitely a person you've dealt with before because we see the missing card. And wanting to go out and socialize here or you guys have more than one choice or option and we see should i take a risk or gamble on this or wait for new love all right with the new love card for some of you okay or should i take a risk on this new love for some of you okay maybe some of you are dealing with a situation where you know you're still missing your ex you're still healing from that energy okay and others of you are like all right there's this new person coming in but i don't know if i can trust it because you know uh, i've dealt with some bad stuff before in the past and i don't know if i should take a risk or gamble on this uh or wait for the another opportunity when it comes to new love okay so for some of you this is what's going on this week okay some of you are dealing with a situation where your ex wants to return and you're concerned about it because you don't know if you really want to go there again and you are kind of like, all right, maybe I should just move on and wait for a new love here. Others of you, you're still healing from the ex energy and you're still missing them and you're just like, I don't even know if this situation is really going to be honest for me. You know, I don't know if they're telling me the truth. Maybe I need to slow walk things and just kind of maybe decide whether or not I want to take a risk or gamble on this new love connection. Okay. All right, my beautiful Pisces. I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Guys, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in another day or two. There's multiple readings for you guys to go check out right now. Um, there is the 2022 readings. There's the December readings. And then what was the one I did the other day? The next two weeks, which includes love, interest, and uh, singles. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, you can go check that out right now. Um, and for the holiday giveaway, all you guys have to do is put blessed and love in the comments below. I'll be picking two people for a free personal reading and one for a holiday giveaway. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And it sounds like it's going to be really interesting. And yes, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.